Hello everyone and welcome to Mr. Carmel. I'm here tonight with my co-host Jacob Bailey and we are so excited to be here. Tonight, 10 of Carmel's best and brightest boys will be competing for the titles of Mr. Champion and Mr. Carmel. The Mr. Champion crown will be awarded to the boy who raises the most donations at the end of tonight. To support your favorite contestant, you place your donations in the bucket outside of the auditorium. To support as of Mr. Carmel, our panel of judges will select the boy who blows away them the most with their dance, talent, beauty walk, and interview questions. The money raised by our contestants will go to Special Olympics Indiana, as well as our very own Champions Together program and the Spread the Word Inclusion campaign. Champions Together aims to promote the inclusion revolution throughout the involvement of those with intellectual disabilities in sports, use of person-first language, and spreading the word to end the R word. We hope that you will help us spread this message and be a part of the inclusion revolution. We also want to say in advance that we are so thankful th for those of you who choose to donate throughout the show. Your contributions will be making a difference in supporting the amazing causes we have mentioned tonight. Next, we would like to introduce our lovely panel of judges. First, we have Mr. Connor Bradley and Mrs. Allison Hargrove representing the Social Studies Department. Next, we have Mr. Craig Harper and Ms. Erin Odia from the Science Department. Following, we have Mr. Matthew Warnicke from the Math Department. We also have Ms. Erin Modisette from the Wellness Department. And last, but most certainly not least, our very own principal, Dr. Ferris. Let's give a round of applause to tonight's lovely judges. And now, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, please welcome the stars of tonight's show, your 2023 Mr. Carmel contestants. Our favorite Catholic school dropout who enjoys tackling sweaty men, Adam Fry. The only girl he can get to go on a date with him is his grandma, Doryush Karam. The only thing faster than his unified time is his race back home for curfew, Ryan Delta. His forehead strikes fear into the hearts of all unfortunate enough to see. Give a round of applause for Andrew LaBoo. The North Alabama commit himself. Oh wait, he got pranked. Your new Butler commit, Blake Matthews. He's broken his back more times than he's been in a relationship. Welcome choir kid extraordinaire, Joey Miller. Starting at six foot two with a grand total of zero varsity letters, Parker Slane. He might be undecided on his major, but at least he knows what to order from Taco Bell. Give it up for Raghav Sriram. His haircut looks weirdly identical to his baby photo, which may play into the reason why he struggles getting girls. Daniel Tia. The man who spent 15 years dedicating all of his time to a sport he'll never play again, Dylan Zener. And there you have it, the 2023 Mr. Carmel contestants. Looks like we'll have a tough competition on the stage tonight. Let's kick off this competition with the infamous group dance. Boys, let's dance. Tonight. Let 
time and get lost if you don't. Look at the reaction when I hit him with the phone. Got PC in the back, got cello in the front. Listen to the record, boy, I got what you want. Yeah, somebody call now. Wow, I wouldn't be surprised to see these boys in the next season of Dancing with the Stars. Curtain opens. Um. Thanks. Now it's time to introduce the real stars of tonight's show, our fabulous group of escorts. Each escort is a member of Champions Together, Best Buddies, or any unified sports team. Accompanying Adam Fry is the boy with the biggest heart, Miles Habiger. Next, escorting Daryush Karam, we have a boy who is a friend that nev never fails to warm your heart. It's AJ Bodie. Escorting Ryan Deldar, we have Mercedes Schmidt, a girl who can make you laugh in an instant. We also have a guy that's always putting a smile and dancing every second of the day. Matthew Nichols. Next up, we have Gretchen Nagy. Gretchen is always looking out for those around her with the biggest smile on her face. She will be escorting our very own Andrew LeBoo. Here tonight with Blake Matthews, we have Cece Campbell, a busy girl with many talents, including being an amazing friend and teammate. Yeah. Here is the unstoppable duo, Joey Miller, escorted by the one and only Daniela Puente Garcia, the perfect mix of class and sex. Accompanying Parker Slane, we have Josh Kania, a loyal and loving friend to all. Next, escorting Raghav Sriram, we have Gavin Utzig. You can always spot him by his radiant smile along with the classic thumbs up. Alongside of Daniel Tion is Lauren Winninger. Not only does she have an amazing voice, but she has such a contagious smile. And last but not least, here's the girl that is truly the life of the party, Lily Smalls, who will be escorting Dylan Zener. I'm sure you were all blown away by that impressive dance, but the talent you will see tonight does not stop there. Throughout the night, you will get the chance to see each boy perform a talent, as well as the beauty walk, followed by an interview question. We are so thankful these boys are willing to courageously embarrass themselves in front of you tonight. But their embarrassment is not without cause. They are here tonight to support Carmel's Champions Together chapter. Champions Together is a collaborative partnership between the IHSAA and the Special Olympics Indiana that promotes servant leadership among student athletes while changing their lives as well as the lives with intellectual disabilities. Here at Carmel High School, Champions Together takes many forms, such as organizing a variety of united sports clinics and teams, including unified soccer, basketball, swimming, bocce, bowling, cheerleading, and more. Miss Abby is going to come and give, she'll be our guest speaker tonight, and she's going to talk about the impact of inclusivity. Hi. Wow. Um, time really flies. Uh, I got to have the opportunity to join the inclusion revolution almost 10 years 
ago, and um, it kind of ages me a bit. <laughs> but like I said, it's amazing. I got a little choked up watching this beginning of this whole event. When we started this movement and brought this to Carmel High School, we had some humble beginnings. <laughs> um, seeing you guys all cheer for all your, your classmates and people with intellectual disabilities, I can imagine 10 years ago what it would be today. Wow. Even in my wildest dreams, I'm not sure my 16-year-old self could really imagine what this organization would grow to become and how much unified sports would really impact my life. When I first jumped into this movement, I had no idea the places it would take me, the people it would introduce me to, nor the lasting impact it would have on me. Bringing champions together to Carmel almost a decade ago is my proudest accomplishment to date. It outweighs any athletic or academic achievement that I've ever earned. Even as I was living my dream in playing basketball at Purdue, I always was reminded with the invaluable skills that unified sports taught me. It's always kept me grounded, and that sports and even life were all about celebrating each other's abilities instead of our disabilities. It's so easy to get wrapped up in the wins and the losses, but playing unified has always taught me that the real wins extend beyond the scoreboard and that the little things were always really the big things in life. Playing the sport that you love with the people you love the most, there's nothing greater than that. And like I said, we had some humble beginnings. When we first started Champions Together, we maybe had 10 people in the committee. The fact that you guys had five people on your leadership committee now, we maybe had five people at an event. <laughs> it was even super hard to field our first unified track team. Our first time we went out on the track, we got dead last. And as you know, at Carmel, we have high expectations. We win state titles, we don't lose. <laughs> so winning my, going to our first unified track meet, I thought, we're gonna clean up at this place. And we got absolutely dead last. And I remember being really disappointed in all that, me being the very competitive person that I am. But then I turned to my left and my right, and I saw those athletes that were just happy to be there, to put on a Carmel jersey, ride the school bus, which, as we know, is just a yellow school bus. They thought it was amazing. And, went, and going into the locker room and changing, things that I had taken for granted in my four years on the basketball team, they thought it was the greatest thing in the world. And it was in that moment that I really knew that the small things really are the big things. And when I first started Champions Together with some of my friends here, I really thought, we're going to change the world. That was my idea. That's where we were going. And with those humble beginnings, I was quickly wondering if maybe we could do it. But as I've come full circle now, and now I'm in my professional accounting career, I've realized that what you do here at Champions Together does not stop here. I challenge each and every one of you to extend that through your college career, through your professional career. It's not just gonna start, it's not gonna end here, it's gonna continue on when you go to college. Are you gonna reach out to that kid that maybe is a little different? Are you gonna go sit with those people at the study tables and include them? And when you're in your professional career, are you still keeping in touch with the athletes that you are playing on your unified sports and bocce and everything like that, I really challenge you to extend what you learn here into your everyday lives for the rest of your lives. 10 years later, I'm still doing that to this day and I will tell you it's the best thing that's ever happened to me. And like I said, I used to want to change the world, but these days I'm very much wanting to change someone's world, one person at a time, and I'm pretty sure you all can do that too. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Ms. Abel, for sharing your story. We hope that now you all have a better understanding of the mission of Special Olympics and the purpose of tonight's show. Now we'll be moving on to the talent portion of the show. Each contestant has prepared a special act to share with you tonight. Starting us off is Adam Fry. Adam's going to be asked a series of trivia questions, although there's a twist. If he gets a question wrong, Alyssa Langman will wax part of his leg. I'm going to start you off with some trivia tonight. Once it pops up on the screen, we'll, we'll get to that part. All right, the first question. How many time zones are there in Russia? Is it A, 13, 
B, seven. C, five, or D, 11? 13. That's incorrect. Oh, no. <sighs> that, that, one, that hurt. All right, your next question. What country invented tea? Was it A, China, B, Russia, C, the United States, or D, England? China. That is correct. Your third question. What year did Carmel High School first open its doors in this current location? Is it A, 1970, B, 1946, C, 1958, or D, 1939? 1939. That is incorrect. Jeez Louise. Welcome back, everyone. We hope you've had the chance to enjoy some cookies and support your favorite contestants. We will now be moving on to the beauty walk-in interview portion of the competition. Each contestant will be accompanied by their escort. First up tonight, we have Adam Fry, escorted by Miles Habiger. Miles is a freshman at Carmel. He has really enjoyed being part of Best Buddies in Unified Sports this year. Outside of school, Miles enjoys watching sports, but especially cheering on the Hoosiers, Pacers, Reds, and Colts. Miles is a hard worker who loves to play golf, work on the yard outside, and ride his bike. He's an awesome big brother, and he enjoys spending time with his friends and family. Adam is one of the youngest of five boys. He believes that to be a leader, you need to start from the bottom, and that's why he's the leader of his brothers. Three of his older brothers were in Mr. Carmel, but they saved the best for last. Adam plays for the Carmel Rugby Club. He also hopes to play rugby in college. He hopes to follow his brother's footsteps and win the title of Mr. Champion. Give it up for Adam and Miles. Adam, if you were an animal, what would you be? I would be a lion. They're the king of the jungle, they're fierce, courageous, and have a beautiful mane. Woo. Very, very fitting. <laughs> Thank you, Adam. Thank you. Give it up for Adam and Miles. Next up is Daryush Karam, escorted by AJ Bodhi. AJ is a laid-back and funny super senior and is excited to be involved with Mr. Carmel again this year by escorting Darius. AJ enjoys playing unified sports and being involved in Special Olympics as well. He loves to play Mario Kart, watch SpongeBob, and go to summer camp. AJ will be moving across the street next year and participating in the C3 program, but until then, go Hounds. Darius Karam is a man of many talents. He is fluent in three languages, including the speak of Playboy Cardi. When he is not listening to a boogie with the hoodie or enjoying a Sprite in a water cup at Joella's, he can be found driving a 1937 Corolla. He once reached level 32 and blocked the pig on cool math games, but felt bad for the pig and quit. Daryush can walk, run, skip, and crawl, but he can't swim. Daryush, what is your favorite childhood memory and why? Um, so when I was little, I used to cry a lot, so much so that it became a problem. And my parents even had to rush me to the ER twice um, because I would start holding my breath. Um, so because of that, it was impossible for my parents to get me to fall asleep because I would just never shut up. Um, and so what my dad used to do is when it was time for me to go to bed, he would pick me up and take me outside and walk me on, his, on the driveway um, with my head on his shoulder and he would lull me to sleep. And so that was the only way for him to get me to be quiet. Um, and so every night we would go out together and he'd point out different stars and constellations and show them to me as I, as I grew with my head on his shoulders. Um, 
and, and until my eyes were too heavy to keep up. So um, every night he would, he would point at Mars in the night sky and tell me that it was my star and that I owned it. Um, later in my life I learned that Mars is not a star, but that's besides the point. Um, so those are some of my earliest memories and definitely my favorite. Basically I grew up my entire life thinking I owned a star called Mars. Very inspiring, Dariush. Give it up one more time for Dariush Karam and AJ Bodhi. Next up, we have Ryan Deldar, escorted by Mercedes Schmidt and Matthew Nichols. Mercedes is a senior at Carmel High School who loves school. She's involved in unified football, track, and crew, and best buddies. When Mercedes is not in school, she likes to spend time at the barn raising her four pigs. She also enjoys going to church and youth group. Mercedes will miss everyone at school next year and looks forward to attending college one day. Matthew Nichols is a senior at Carmel High School and absolutely loves being a Greyhound. His favorite activities at school are participating in unified track and unified football with his teammates. He also enjoys the Best Buddies program and loves hanging out with his buddy Samuel Anderson. When Matthew is not at school, he enjoys hanging out with his family and friends and listening to music and dancing and attending Our Lady of Mount Carmel Church. Matthew is excited to participate in Mr. Carmel again and wishes the participants the best of luck. <laughs> Ryan Deldar is often called a child prodigy or a visionary of a generation, but you can call him anytime. He nobly put his modeling career on hold to be a valued member and captain of the unified football and track for four years. When he's not watching movies, reviewing food, or going to concerts, he's driving the speed limit back home for curfew. If you couldn't tell from his wardrobe of solely Purdue gear, he will be blessing him with his time and majoring in optometry. He's on council for the freshman helper thingy, the Riley kid helper thingy, the community helper thingy, and the key club. He's extremely excited and grateful for the opportunity to participate in Mr. Carmel and support such an important cause. Ryan, what is the worst advice you have ever received? Oh man, where do I even start? Um, when I was five and my sister was eight, she convinced me she was a karate master and charged me out of my piggy bank for, for lessons. And, and after, after all the lessons and, and robbing me of all my money that, an eight, that a five-year-old had, the only thing she ever taught me was anything that comes your way, anyone that tries to attack you, just defend with your knee like this. You know, I believed it for the longest time. It made perfect logical sense to me. And I didn't realize until later than I like to admit that you can't block everything with your knee or else you'll dislocate it like I did. <laughs> but, but it did teach me one of the most valuable life lessons of all. And that is that eight-year-olds just want your money. Well, she wasn't entirely wrong. Thank you. Give it up for Matthew, Mercedes, and Ryan. Next up, we have Andrew Labou, escorted by Gretchen Nagy. Gretchen Nagy is a senior who has enjoyed her time at Carmel High School. She has participated in the United Bocce Ball Team, United Cheer Team, and Best Buddies. She survived a sudden cardiac arrest, just like Damar Hamlin of the Buffalo Bills when she was only six years old. She is currently working at Best Friends Pet Hotel and Daycare. She loves children of all ages as well as any and all animals, especially dogs, cats, and horses. Andrew Labou is the peak contestant out of all the Mr. Carmel contestants. Who wrote this? <laughs> He's a handsome grade A student, is an athlete, and is most likely the only employed contestant. He hopes these experiences will give him the upper hand in decimating the other opponents. Labou has also been accepted into Butler's College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences, meaning he isn't afraid to skip school to practice for this magnificent event. On top of all this, he is the middle child out of six other siblings, meaning he strives for the attention he hopes to gain by bringing home the crown. <laughs> Andrew. If you could attend any fictional school, which one would you attend? I think it would have to be Hogwarts. Um, I mean, obviously, there's the, there's the reasons. It has magic, there's broomsticks, there's Hermione Granger, Bellatrix of the Trains, Dobby. But it's more than just that. Um, <laughs> when I was uh, three, my parents, they would uh, read me the Harry Potter books until I fell asleep. They realized I liked them. And then ever since then, every year, we watched all the movie, movies as a Christmas tradition. And it's kind of just, it's a really nice feeling it gives me. Um, so it's not, there's those cool reasons, but you know, it's a nostalgic feeling it gives me as well. Very inspiring. Give it up one more time for Andrew and Gretchen Nagy.
Here comes Blake Matthews, escorted by CeCe Campbell. CeCe is currently a senior at Carmel, where she's a member of Champions Together, Best Buddies, United Sound, and Carmel Choirs. She has also been involved in Unified Flag Football and Unified Track and Field. When CeCe is not at school, she enjoys traveling to Florida for spring break every year, playing musical instruments, spending time with her friends, doing a variety of outdoor activities, and playing her favorite video game, Super Mario Sports Mix. CeCe plans to attend University of Indianapolis in the fall. She has loved her time at Carmel High School and is very grateful for all the opportunities she has had as a Carmel Greyhound. Blake Matthews, known to many as him, is grateful to be a contestant in this year's Mr. Carmel. After being compared to Michael Jordan on the freshman basketball B team, he decided to take his talents to CDC so that others could shine. Not only can he hoop, but he's committed to Butler University for football, which some people might know, might not know as a football school. Not a basketball school. If Blake isn't on the field or court, he's typically at Fat Dan's, Crafters, or being an avid Oreo milkshake drinker. He's truly honored to be named in the history books of Mr. Carmel as the GOAT. Blake, what's your biggest fear? Um, so this took a lot of time. And I finally came up with the ocean. Growing up, I've watched way too much Nat Geo, like Animal Planet, like River Monsters, like James White stuff, and it, it's just a lot. Like, I don't think humans are supposed to be in that area. Uh, that's just not our strong suit. And I think when I was like six, I stepped on like a twig or something. I thought it was a sea urchin, and then it's just, if I, if I go to the beach, like it's cool, like I would just stay on the beach, and get my feet wet, but that's about it. Thank you, Blake. That's a valid fear. Give it up for Cece and Blake Matthews. Next up is Joey Miller, escorted by Daniela Puente Garcia. Daniela is a junior social butterfly. She is always happy and excited about making new friends. She's a sassy fashionista, but is also brave and positive. She loves dancing and swimming. Daniela is part of Carmel Unified Cheer and Choir, and she does amazingly well. Daniela makes the world a better place. Joey Miller is a very aspirational guy who likes to get involved, trying lots of new experiences. The last few years, he's tried new foods, new podcasts, music, and new diseases, like the first and third variants of COVID. He spends most of his free time either losing at Euchre, poker, or any other card game, or at physical therapy recovering from the newest addition to his long list of injuries. With such a history, he loves playing sports with his friends, having played soccer since he was very young. He's also a believer in the fact that no athlete is complete without singing and dancing. So he joined the Carmel Ambassadors, where he's been a part of for the past three years. He's also a member of Select Sound and has played guitar since he was in the fourth grade. He hopes to make the most of his last, fam last year in high school, and he thanks his family for being supportive during the high school years, as he would not be here without them. Oh, wrong question. Joey, who is the most influential person in your life? Well, I know it might be cheating, but I really can't give one without the other, and I can honestly say that both my mom and my dad have been the most influential people in my life because they've just been so supportive of me since day one. Whatever I've been involved in, whether it's sports, the arts, or activities like this, they've just always had my back, and they've always supported me throughout it all, and I can honestly say that I wouldn't be the person that I am today without them. But I also have to give an honorable mention to the choir moms out there because they've also been there from day one. So shout out to you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you very much, Joey. A big shout out to all our moms and dads out there. And give it up one more time for Joey Miller and Daniela Puente Garcia. Next up, we have Parker Slane, escorted by Josh Kania. Joshua Kania has been a student in Carmel School since the fifth grade and is a senior this year. He will be transitioning into the interns program for his next school year. At Carmel High School, Joshua has enjoyed spending time with his friends throughout the Best Buddies and Unified Sports programs. Last year, Joshua participated in bocce ball and flag football and very much enjoyed his times with the teams. Parker Slane is a well-rounded man with many talents. Oh. If he hasn't been charming the ladies with his Michael Jackson-like moves, he is probably playing soccer, basketball, or attending various Carmel High School sporting events. He is also involved in student government and has been in cabinet for two years and is currently the senior class treasurer. Although, don't ask him for money because he's probably got his eyes on a new pair of shoes. He has had a great time getting to know everyone involved in Mr. Carmel and he would like to thank his family for being supportive during the high school years as he would not be here without them. Parker, where is your favorite place that you've traveled to? So I've been to a lot of cool places. Next on the list is probably Gary, Indiana. 
But out of my most, uh, the, the coolest places, the most memorable places that I've been was actually last summer with the Jacob Bailey hosting tonight, and I'm sure a couple of audience members out there. Um, so during this trip, we went to Germany, Austria, and Italy. Um, and during my time in Rome, I uh, had an unexpected trip to the Roman Embassy, uh, which if you don't know, usually for foreign travelers, it's not a good thing. Uh, so I actually had to get an emergency passport. Um, and then on the way back, catching up with the group, I found out that one of my friends had the passport all along. So now I have two, one's a nice souvenir. Um, but yeah, that's probably the best place that I've visited and one of the most memorable experiences that I've had. Thank you, Parker. <laughs> Give it up for Joshua and Parker. Next up is Raghav Sriram, escorted by Gavin Utzing. Gavin is a senior this year. He's a sweet, happy, and hardworking young man. He loves school and being part of his best buddy programs and the unified sports teams. His hobbies are watching movies, playing on his iPad, going to the mall, Color Me Mine, and the zoo. He enjoys hanging out with his friends Matthew and Gabby, among others. His favorite foods are chicken tenders, mac and cheese, and Handel's ice cream. His favorite vacation destination is Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida. Raghav Raghamuff and Sriram is a senior at Carmel High School who's made quite the name for himself with his jaw-dropping backflipping abilities. But fame comes at a price, and Raghav learned the hard way when he broke his hand doing a flip during a Mr. Carmel rehearsal. Aside from attempting backflips, you'll find Raghav telling seniors to get their NHS volunteering hours in. He's super excited to be a part of Mr. Carmel this year and is ready to show others that there is nothing that can stop them from achieving their dreams, not even a broken hand. Raghav, tell us, who is your hero? Um, you know, I've had a lot of heroes throughout the course of my life. You know, obviously my mom, my dad, my brother, my uncle, um, you know, Mr. Stolpe too. Uh, but my most recent hero is actually up on the stage with me right now. Um, and meeting Gavin, hanging out with Gavin over the past few weeks, I've realized how important it is to always have a smile on your face. You know, being a positive person is hard, but when you're able to impact others and influence others with your actions, it, it, you, you don't know how impactful that can be. And Gavin's really showed me that. So I'm gonna take my glasses off. Gavin, if you wanna wear these, you can. Um, and yeah, he's <laughs> super cool, right? Yeah. yeah. So Gavin, thank you so much for, for hanging out with me the past few weeks. Is there anything that you'd like to say? Tipper like to say yes and like to say. It's going to say like to say. Okay, give it up for Gavin, everyone. Very inspiring. That's what this is all about. Give it up for Raghav and Gavin Utzing. <laughs> Next, here comes Daniel Tian, escorted by Lauren Wenninger. Lauren is a senior at Carmel High School and is a triplet and loves spending time with her siblings. She loves travel, roller coasters, haunted houses, and seeing friends and family. Lauren also loves to sing and do musicals. Daniel Tian is super stoked to join the ranks of this year's Mr. Carmel, president of Science Olympiad, National Chinese Honor Society, and Badminton Club. You may remember him from the homecoming leading dragon dance yelling, ice cold water, at hundreds of confused students. Outside of these clubs, as well as Highlight and Symphony Orchestra, Daniel's non-existent free time is generally spent outside with his friends or cooking inedible food. He sincerely hopes that Mr. Carmel's message can reach everybody and is honored to spend his last semester at Carmel exemplifying its cause. Daniel, what is your favorite random fact? Did you know that on the highest level of the Supreme Court, there's a basketball court, very aptly known as the highest court in the land? <laughs> I did not know that. Thank you, Daniel and Lauren. Last but certainly not least is Dylan Zener, escorted by Lily Small. Lily is in her junior year at Carmel High School and enjoys participating in many sports and activities. She is on United Bocce, flag football, and track teams. She is a member of Best Buddies and plays the violin in United Sound. She loves spending time with her many f friends and her family, including her golden doodle tie. This is Lily's second year participating in Mr. Carmel and she really enjoys it. Dylan Zener's best abil ability is availability. <laughs> Out of all the Mr. Carmel contestants, Dylan is the most available. He's so available that he wants to reclassify to resurrect his basketball career at the school. After two modeling stunts for run Runway for Riley, Dylan has so kindly decided to throw the suit back on. 
This spring, he will conclude his illustrious baseball career unless the IU baseball coaches answer his Twitter DMs. <laughs> Inside of the school, some might call him a genius or a mastermind, but most don't. Dylan, what songs are the soundtrack to your life? Um, I mean, I had a prepared answer, but I mean, I'm not going to lie. After seeing that wonderful, wonderful rendition of Worth It by Dariush, I think I'm going to have to change it to that. That's the only song that I'm going to listen to from now on. I'm going to have him record it in my voice memos. I'm going to be blasting it on the way home, on the way to school, everywhere I go. It's just not going to leave my brain. Thank you, Dylan and Lily, for this amazing final beauty walk. We hope you have all enjoyed getting to know a little more about tonight's contestants and escorts. Now, judges, you are dismissed to begin your de deliberations. Well, we've all appreciated having the chance to watch our contestants embarrass themselves on stage. The message of, of tonight should not be forgotten, as it impacts all contestants, escorts, and Carmel as a whole. Let's take a closer look at how Mr. Carmel and Champions Together has influenced those who have dedicated their time to this cause. Hi, my name is uh, Dylan Zener, Parker Slane, Xander Liu, Blake Matthews, Draga Shiram, Daniel Tan, Adam Fuai, Ryan Deldar, Joey Miller, Jari Shiram. Mr. Carmel is like a male beauty pageant and like a talent show that raises awareness and raises money. It's a fundraising event for Special Olympics for Champions Together and um, the unified sports that we have at Carmel High Schools. I've been on Unified for four years and that really showed me like how important the cause is and how little things can go a long way. And I wanted to join Mr. Carmel to kind of raise more awareness and be able to do more things to help my community. I was given the opportunity to apply for it and I saw that and I was like, oh, this is gonna be really fun. I like the guys that are doing it and the, uh, like, the reason that we're doing it is such a good reason that I could not do it. So I was in an act with a senior boy last year um, for Mr. Carmel, I had a good time meeting all the people um, and had fun at the show, so I wanted to come back and have my own act this year. The R word has always had a negative connotation. It's just a lot of people don't like it. Um, to use it, you're using it in a sense to make fun of something, and it's make fun of something as in referring to someone as, that has a mental disability, so it's just, it's not good. Um, the R word is a, is a derogatory term um, and using it is very offensive so you people shouldn't use it because um, it's just bad. It's important not to use the R word because it's just it's not an accurate term for, for people with disabilities. It's not, not nice to them and it just shouldn't be used because it's not, not polite and it's not fair to the talents and abilities that all of our friends have and it just doesn't promote um, inclusivity and just equality. It's definitely just been like fun being with a group of guys, uh, getting closer with them and our escorts, um, just for a great cause. Mr. Carmel has been a, a good way to kind of like, uh, even for me, um, be more aware about the whole like um, special Olympics, special education and all of that, how that kind of, how we should be promoting a culture of inclusivity. Mr. Carmel has impacted me by the way I can see the escorts be so involved and happy that they're on stage, having a great time, and I just I feel amazing when I see that. A big thank you to CHTV for putting this together in a moving video. We hope this has helped remind you of the real reason that we are here tonight. We would also like to thank everyone else who made this amazing night possible, starting with our appreciation for Men's Warehouse. Thank you for supporting our cause and making tonight so special. Our contestants have never looked better. Thank you to our incredible dance team seniors for choreographing this fabulous dance routine you watch at the beginning of today's shows. Thank you, Abby Burns, Lydia Hagen, Emily Lavoque. Ella Williams, and Ella Rainbolt. Another thank you goes to our spectacular panel of judges for volunteering their time to be, there, to be here tonight for this year's Mr. Carmel. Please stand for recognition and appreciation. 
thank you go out, goes out to Mr. Connor Bradley, Miss Allison Hargrove, Mr. Craig Harper, Miss Aaron Modisette, Mrs. Aaron Odia, Mr. Mac Matthew Wernke, and Dr. Fairs. Another big thank you goes to our Champions Together sponsors. Thank you to our hardworking assistant athletic director, Mr. Jeff Hester. Without your commitment to helping our chapter, tonight would have never been possible. We are so grateful for all your time and energy that you put into supporting the group. A huge thank you goes to Mr. Ogerson, Mr. Hootsu Josh, yeah, and the Tech Theater Department for all of your time and effort. Thank you, Mr. Barker and Mrs. Coons for the Choir Department. Thank you, Mr. Orr and Mrs. Gabbard for all of your help. Additionally, thank you, Mrs. Prosser and the Treasurer's Office. Also, thank you to Mr. Jim Inskeep for your support of Champions Together and all of our unified sporting events. We'd also like to thank our amazing Mr. Carmel Committee. This committee has worked so hard to make this night a success. Thank you to Brooke Orval, Brooke Sullivan, Lily Getchell, Marissa Sharp, Reese Weber, Emily Switzer, Alyssa Langman, Sarah Larkin, Audrey Hawkins, and Greta Heil. Lastly, a big thank you goes out to all of you here tonight. We are so grateful that you have chosen to support such an important cause. Without you guys at this show, it truly wouldn't be possible. To stay involved with Carmel High School's Champions Together chapter, make sure to follow at CHS Champs on Twitter and at CHS Champions Together on Instagram. Without further ado, please, um, please welcome back to the stage for one final time your 2023 Mr. Carmel contestants and escorts. Please give our boys a final round of applause for their outstanding performances and all that they have done tonight. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, the crowning of Mr. Champion and Mr. Carmel. Mr. Champion is awarded to the contestant that's raised the most money in honor of the Special Olympics, the Spread the Word Inclusion Campaign, and the Carmel High School Champions Together chapter. The title of Mr. Carmel is given to the individual who has scored the highest. With that being said, please welcome to the stage last year's Mr. Carmel, Greg Gottlieb, to announce this year's Mr. Carmel and Mr. Champion. Who is it? I don't know. <laughs> the winner of this year's Mr. Champion is Adam Fry. Congratulations, Adam. Not trying to pull a Steve Harvey tonight. <laughs> All right, so it looks like the judges are still deliberating the choices because it is just that difficult to determine between all this talent. So just give us a little bit of time and we will be right back with you to the results for Mr. Carmel. Thank you. Do we still have the to pass the time, here? Adam would like to give a little bit of a thank you speech. Thank you. First, I'd like to thank God for the opportunity to be here tonight. Second, I'd like to thank my father, John, for teaching me how to be a salesman and go out and get the donations. 
Mr. Fry. Thirdly, I'd like to thank my mother for always believing in me and telling me I can do it. The crown in the sash will be going to Miles. He just isn't able to come out here right now, but that will be happening. Thank you. Let's give one more round of applause for Adam Fry. Hey, good luck with your leg, by the way. Um, we're going to give a couple more minutes to figure out the results of Mr. Carmel. It's a very tough competition tonight. Uh, yeah. Do we still have the Jeopardy music? Sounds like the results are in, so let's cut the music for the moment you've all been waiting for. Congratulations to all the contestants on the stage. You all did a wonderful job, but there can only be one winner. So congratulations to the 2023 Mr. Carmel, Ryan Deldar. Congratulations, Ryan. We are so happy for you. Wow. How does it feel to officially be named the 2023 Mr. Carmel? Would you like to say anyone? Or would you like to say anything to our incredible audience and Champions Together community? Anyone you'd like to thank or shout out? Get this man a mic. All right. <laughs> thank you so much. First, I want to say thank you to all these amazing boys back here, all these amazing escorts. Like, we couldn't have put on this great of a show without everyone putting, all in, putting in all this hard work. A special little thank you to Sarah, Eva, all of the people on the committees, and the judges, wherever, I don't know where you are. Um, what? Judges! Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you to all you guys for showing up, everyone who donated. Um, this, is, this is just such a great event. And it, it really spreads so much awareness and does so much good for Special Olympics. And thank you to everyone. Give it up one more time for Ryan Teller, Mercedes Shit, and Matthew, Matthew Nichols. Let's give one last round of applause for our newly crowned Mr. Champion and Mr. Carmel, our outstanding escorts, and all the time that the contestants have completed tonight. Before you leave, please make sure to collect any trash and be sure to leave the auditorium as we found it. Thank you again for coming to the show tonight. Good, Good night, night, Carmel, Carmel High, High School. School. Smiling in my time